Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently, Microsoft has been rolling out performance improvements, and they've also deprioritized uh, the apps you have already installed from being displayed on the home page, as I have been posting. And I'll leave those videos in the end screen if you would be interested. Now, in regards to improvements that are rolling out to the Microsoft Store, Microsoft has recently announced another change and improvement for the Microsoft Store. Uh, they announced this recently over on X, and this is not the store app that rolls out with Windows 10 and 11, but the online version of the Microsoft Store. So Microsoft Store for the web. And Microsoft has announced that they've just launched Microsoft Store installers for the web, which they say is a streamlined way to install store apps directly from apps.microsoft.com, which obviously is the online version of the store. Now, prior to this change and improvement rolling out, how this whole process would work, as many of you may know, there are quite a couple of extra clicks and clicking to do to download and install an app from the Microsoft Store online. So as an example, if you clicked on an app previously, um, you would have to click on the install button of the Microsoft Store website. Then the browser would display a open Microsoft Store prompt somewhere here at the top. And then you would have to click on the open Microsoft Store button to um, that displayed the actual install installation prompt. And then after that, you'd have to click on the install button to start the download and installation of the app. So basically, there was quite a lot of extra clicking to do. So how this all works now with this new change. So if I just do a quick search uh, for an app here like PC Manager, which is quite a common app. We speak about that quite regularly on the channel. So how the new one works is you head over to the app you want to download. You click on Install. And then you'll see now what happens is it moves straight to your downloads and downloads the executable file, the .exe file, to your local drive. And then obviously you can head over to that and then you can save that to your local drive. And then you can obviously head over to your downloads location and you can click on that and then install the app directly, which I actually think this is a better way of doing it when it comes to um, just getting the job done if you are using the Microsoft Store or maybe on not running Windows 10 and Windows 11 as an example, and you're downloading another app on another device, I think that may be a nice move in the right direction. Now, Microsoft's so-called um, reason for making this change is um, there's a couple of reasons. They say um, the installation process requires two clicks, which previously required three, and they say it's a lot quicker. And... They say downloads work even if the store is removed on the device or out of date. So I think that's where the benefit of this would be. And you can download parallel downloads. So you don't you don't have to just download one app at the same at, at once. You can download uh, two, three apps simultaneously, parallel downloads as they are called. So that's more or less what this is all about. The benefit is you click on install and it lets you download the .exe file, which you can then um, save to your drive and you can and run that directly from your local drive. So just letting you guys know about that if you are maybe finding yourselves using the online version of the Microsoft Store. So that's now three kind of changes that Microsoft has rolled out over the last week or two and just wanted to bring it to your attention in case you're unaware. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.